Hello, I'm Hans Parchment. You're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis. I think the uniqueness of the reggae girls is they embody the national motto of Jamaica, which is out of many one people. So when you look at the entirety of the Jamaica squad, you have dark skinned girls, mixed race girls, girls who have black and Asian in them. You also have the homegrown players, so like your Bunny Shaw, your Kanye Plummer, um, your Den Den Blackwood. So what that means in terms of from a grassroots perspective is girls who are born in Jamaica can look at a Bunny Shaw and hear that authentic accent and say, you know, if Bunny can make it, then so can I. Once you hear that authenticity, that raw Jamaican accent, they should be able to look at a Bunny Shaw who is now our captain to say if Bunny can do it, especially if you come from the same community, the same parish as her, if she can do it, then so can we. So a world, world first World Cup win um, in the tournament for Jamaica. You've made history. How does that feel? I don't, you know, it's it's good for the players and the country. You know, I I think to me history having the first World Cup win is great, but you know, those are records to me are made to be broken, and somebody will come along in the future and they will clean this record up. So it's great for the country now, but you know, I don't even put, I don't I don't rest my my belief in that kind of stuff. It's just good for the country and the players to to get that done. And compared to the last World Cup, obviously. You know, it's you, you know you, it's shown the potential that you've got to go further in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, for, I mean, the last World Cup, you know, we were we were we were young, we were naive, we were, as you, as you say, deer in a headlight. You know, maybe it's a kangaroo in a headlight in Australia, uh, but they, 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 you know, we had a lot more belief. You know, plus we have a little bit better team, so you know, and uh, we have to. With the coaching staff and the technical staff we have and the, the front office and everybody who works well together you know we have a lot more belief that we could go further so so that's good but we just have the one thing to give us a chance on the last day i mean that that was our wish and so far obviously show like how showing how you've played in the last in the first two games what does it mean for jamaica as a nation well, I think people are kind of getting behind the team now, you know, which is good because before I wonder about it if, you know, football, women's football would ever take root in Jamaica. And I think with the diaspora, we can see it in the stands right here and I'm, they show a lot of those clips in Jamaica. I think I'm getting messages from people I haven't talked to in 30 years, you know, coming out with support for the team and, you know, people are waking up early in the morning in Jamaica watching the games and I think that's a good thing for the for the sports overall and for women's sports, especially for women's sports in Jamaica. I know we have netball and I know we have volleyball going on and kudos to them. I think they're doing well, but you know, you know, we can take the lead as women footballers in women's sports in Jamaica. You know, I know track and field has been always, you know, the gem. So we can go up there and just elevate all the women's sports in Jamaica. Can you talk me through the game against Panama? Well, it was, I mean, coming, coming from the France game, I, I knew it was going to be a dark fight. I knew Panama was going to come out and play a little bit different, and they did. And Panama, you know, put in some fresh players, and, you know, they work hard, and they were very good. So I knew it was going to be a very cagey, cagey game. As I described it, it was going to be a dark fight, and I realized that we coming off a, a big result against France, you know, it's hard to carry that emotion. So... Most likely, it was going to come down to the second half. And we, you know, I, in the back of my mind from experience, I said, this is going to come down to some kind of set piece. And I think I said, we have to be very, very good here on our set piece. So, so the first half was a little bit of a lot to us, to us. But the second half, especially the first 20 minutes of the second half, we knew we had to come out and get something. And, you know, you know, Swaby, Swaby delivered from one of those corner kicks. So give true the credit great ball inside so you know you know everybody think it's going to be a high scoring game or maybe i wanted a few who thought it was going to be a very low scoring game so yeah that's what happened how did you feel about the overall performance of the 13 players during that game yeah i mean the you know, the, the jamaican performance you know they gave it everything as 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 panama left it on the field you know so you can't fault them there's a lot of nerves and stuff going on there. So, but I felt I felt good about the performance. The energy was was the football the best football 
No, it could have been better, especially in the attacking third right there. We could have done better in front of the goal with some of our chances, but you know, it's football and you know, we have to just find a way to win. But I, I you know, I feel happy for the players, you know, they gave it everything. And with going into the next game, obviously you've got Bunny Shaw back. How do you think that's gonna help? Yeah, I'm, Bunny Shaw is back, you know, but again, you know, she just one player, so we have to be be ready, you know, to 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 get after Brazil. Okay, Brazil is gonna get after us. I mean, you know, they have to win the game, so they're gonna throw everything at us, and we have to make sure as a collective unit, defensively, that we're good. But we have to try to um, get something. You know, so we can't just sit back and say, okay, you know, we have to try to get something. You know, on their goal or go after their goal or do something in even in that sense. We we can't just say, okay, let's defend all the way. We have to be playing both ways. What are you expecting from Brazil? Attacks in waves and attacks in waves and attacks in waves and all these skilled players coming out because again, I I think the first fifteen minutes they they will come like a bunch of wild hyenas just coming out, just getting after it, getting after their prey. And we have to be ready to fight fire with fire. And you, um, talk me through, so Alison Swaley obviously got um, player of the match, and you've now had player of the match for both games that you've played. How does that feel for the both of you? Well, yeah, I, 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 Alison Swaley, who's been, you know, she has, her last season, it's been rough for her, you know, moving from club to club and really hasn't played, played a lot of football. But I think the camp in Jamaica, when, when we went to Jamaica and, and did the camp in Jamaica in early June. I think that camp helped her a lot to get her confidence back. You know, we did a lot of lot of second guessing and first guessing and everything. And you know, she and her she and both Swabies, you know, we knew pairing those two together can be very good. So far it's been good, you know. But especially Allison just lacking football over the last year and a half, you know. That training, that training camp did her well. And going into Amsterdam, she worked on her game. So I was very happy for her that she captained the team and she was man of the match and uh, a woman of the match. And you know, she got the winning goal. Do you think you get another player of the match in the next game? Well, hopefully we we do. You know, hopefully we can. Hopefully we do. Because can I get, can we, I get to say? Hopefully we can get a player of the match again. You know, hopefully we can get another player of the match because it, 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 it's 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 the trend. If you get the player of the match, your team must perform well. So hopefully, you know, we get the player of the match. That means the 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 team has done something good. So you know. And tell me a bit about the Jamaican fans. You had a lot of fans again at the Panama game. Yeah, there's a lot of Jamaican fans that you know we didn't know living in Perth, but you know, they show up and it's Jamaican fans and you know, they're some of the most noisiest fans in the world and they, they love their color. So it was great to see them. I think the players embraced it. I think the players were kind of surprised to see that many Jamaican fans, as was the coaches too and, and the staff. So, so that was great to have those fans, you know, hopefully some, I don't know if they're going to come down to, to the Brazil game, but hopefully some of those fans will find their way into Melbourne and Keep, keep the fire burning. I'm John Barnes, and you're watching Tarawa TV with Crystal Davis.